Good morning, 129. I thought we might start this video with our good morning song, the whole song, because we haven't done that in a while. And I just like saying your names. It makes me feel closer to you. Let's give it a try. Get your beat going. Got your pattern going. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, and how do you do? How do you do, Sophie? How do you do, Giuliano? How do you do, Lynn? How do you do, Scarlett? How do you do, Charlotte? How do you do, Jacob? How do you do, Quan? How do you do, Roni? How do you do, Audrey? How do you do, Bear? How do you do, Hunter? How do you do, Athena? How do you do, Asher? How do you do, Lily? How do you do, Ava? How do you do, Mrs. Sigler? Oh, thank you. I feel happy, but today I think I'm gonna go with Rockin' Thumbs. I always like getting to talk to you again. And this is our last Oceans Day. So I thought I would wear my fishing hat. My fishing hat has balloons on it. It's just a cheery hat, but it always reminds me of my daddy. Because when I was little, my daddy would take me fishing. We would go fishing in our boat. It was a little metal boat and you had to row it out onto the lake. And my daddy, he would catch great big fish and he would catch catfish. Is that a silly name? But they do kind of have whiskers. Kind of look like a little, the fish in the sea, they live on the bottom of the lake, kind of in the mud. They are really yummy. My fish did not really ever make it home. Maybe once or twice when I was a little older, I would catch a decent sized fish. But my fish were usually called sunnies. They're not that big. And so we would take them off the hook and throw them back. My favorite part of fishing wasn't really catching fish anyway. It was spending time with my daddy and learning something. You couldn't really talk when you're fishing. You have to be really quiet so you don't scare the fish. But my mama, she would pack a lunch for us, peanut butter and jelly for me, and we would sit on the lake in the boat throw out our lines. I had my own fisher pole. And just wait. And just spend the time together. And then when it was time to eat lunch, we would put our poles in. And that would be our time to talk. It was really nice. You know, sometimes we would talk about things that were happening in my life. Things that um, made me scared or um, things that made me sad. And uh, my dad, he would listen. And he would let me know that no matter what I was going through, he was there. And, and he, I could always ask him for help. And that was really nice for me. Do you guys remember this book? Little Whale. We read this book when we were talking about the Arctic, if you remember. And he has to go on a journey with his mom. It's not really an adventure. An adventure is something exciting and fun that you decide to do. He had to go on a journey with his mom that was a little scary and he had to do it because the whales have to move to find food in the ocean. And so they have to go north to get their food. You know, if you look really close on here, you'll see what are these? Jellyfish. 
And a jellyfish on there. We've been doing some jellyfish artwork. Little Will didn't necessarily want to go on the trip, but he had to. There he is, Little Whale, with his huge mom. Gray Whale led her baby out of the shallows and into the warm southern sea. Where are we going? asked Little Whale. Do you remember where they're going? Follow me, said Gray Whale. The rest of their family had already left to find food in the cool, rich waters of the north, and it was time to join them. We're going on a long journey, Little Whale, sang Gray Whale. We're going home. There they are going through the ocean. Here they come. There they are. You'll notice in the book it doesn't say that she said. It says she sang because whales sing. Now this is a galley book, so it's not put together. Look at this. Wow, she is big. That underwater part look like? Does it look like maybe a forest? But it's underwater. A great forest beneath them drifted with the tide. What's home? Wondered little whale. Maybe this is it? He thinks maybe that's it. What do you think? Is he right? But gray whale. She kept on swimming because this is not home. The coral reef sparkled with life and strange new creatures that swam all around them. Is this home? asked Little Whale. No, we still got a long way to go, sang Gray Whale, nudging her little whale onward. These are all of the creatures she's seeing. I bet some of you can look at this picture and tell me some of these different mammals and sea creatures, dolphins, rays. Anybody see the hammerhead shark? There she goes. There's his little tail behind her, following his mom. She said that's what they need to do. Together they traveled mile after mile under vast midnight skies. Are we nearly there? Lots of stars in that picture. Oh my, look at this. Not yet, sang Gray Whale, and northwards they swam through seas that shimmered and danced. Look at all of those fish. Oh man, that's a lot of fish. Do you know what a group of fish is called? A school. <laughs> Isn't that great? Days and nights passed and the water grew colder and deeper and darker. Are we nearly home yet? Little Whale asked. But Little Whale's voice was lost in the noise. <sighs> Passing ships. Look at that. There's a ship. Uh oh. Journeys aren't always safe, right? But he's with Gray Whale. Little Whale felt very small. Look at that great big ocean. Wow. No land in sight. There was no one but Gray Whale to see. Suddenly, they were no longer alone. Orcas were trailing them, and Little Whale knew they were very dangerous. I'm scared, said Little Whale. Sometimes we get scared, right? I'm right beside you. Keep going, urged Gray Whale. Little Whale's strength was fading fast. He's little, and sometimes we can't keep up so much, right, when we're little? 
Hold on to me, sang Gray Whale. And Little Will clung on to Gray Whale and they surged through the water, leaving the danger behind them. Look at that. She's carrying him on her back so that they can go fast. He doesn't have to worry. I'm so tired, says Little Whale. Will we ever get there? <gasps> oh, 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 at long last, the sound of whale song. They're singing, echoed through the icy water. Who is that? asked Little Gray Whale. It's our family, sang Gray Whale. They're calling us home. She's carrying him, and look at the family. Isn't that nice? They're singing. Come on home. Sunshine glittered on the mountain peaks as the pod of gray whales sang their welcome. We made it. We're home in the north, said gray whale, and she nuzzled her brave little whale. Look at that. There they are. And look. The whales push the water up in a plume out of their heads. Look at that. So this is it, said Little Whale. We're home. Resting safely against the warmth of Gray Whale with family all around, Little Whale drifted off to sleep. You see he's sleeping as his mommy's nose and there's his nose. Now he's safe at home. He just had to stay with his mom, listen to what she said, kept him safe. He got home because home is where your family is, right? Sometimes we don't get to be at our house. Things happen. Or sometimes you do something fun like go to the beach and you're in a different house where your parents and your family are there. That's your home. It's pretty cool. This was May. And the day I was doing this, it was partly cloudy. Can you see my artwork? There's a card and a piece of art from Charlotte. Thank you, Charlotte. That's really pretty. And I put it up on my board. I liked it a lot. <laughs> I like the balloons on my fishing cat. Thanks for all the art. For everybody sending me art. I really, really like it. And I've got it up on my wall. We'll talk to you next time. Happy ocean sailing. Hi, my wonderful friends. How are you today? I hope you're doing well on this rainy day. We're talking about sea creatures and oceans still. And I've got a couple of really cool creatures in this book for you. It's nature's deadliest creatures, but they've got some cool ocean creatures in here. And I'm gonna just talk really quickly about some of them that I've marked for you. The first one is the giant squid. See? He's found in the darkest deep ocean. And this guy, he's one of the biggest animals without a backbone. The backbone is your spine. He does not have one. That makes him an invertebrate. He has suckers for catching prey. Pretty long, isn't he? The next guy is a giant Pacific octopus. He is enormous also. He's found in cold ocean waters. This creature has the biggest arm span compared to other octopuses. Arms or legs or tentacles, we call them. They're really, really super long. The next one I have for you is the sperm whale. <clears throat> Many giant whales feed by straining ocean plankton, but the sperm whale prefers meteor prey. This whale actually has teeth, unlike a lot of whales who, who eat very, very tiny prey. He swims in very deep water, believe it or not, right down to where our squid friend was. He likes to eat the squid. 
he can hold his breath for more than one hour. Can you believe that? That's a very long time. Here's a fun guy you might have heard of. He's a platypus. I love this guy. He's got a duckbill type of mouth. The platypus is an aquatic egg-laying mammal and uses its duck-like bill to detect prey. He's pretty strong, it says. The last one I have for you, you'll all recognize this one. It's the orca. Lots of people call it the killer whale. I like him, he's the orca. Bigger and faster than a great white shark, and that's fast because sharks are fast. This orca is at the top of the ocean food chain. It uses a lot of clever tricks to catch its prey and they work together in groups when they're hunting for food. They're very smart. I have a surprise for you. I've got something else I want to show you this morning. You need to follow me through my house. I'll tell you about it as we walk. There's a little creek near my house and me and my kids went down there last week and we discovered tadpoles in there. And tadpoles are baby frogs. And I have them, we brought them home in a bucket and we've been watching them grow and develop. And I want to show you what they look like. Okay guys, so here is my bucket with my tadpoles. I'm hoping you can see them. Have a look around. One of them is very big. That guy over there is the biggest. My son has named him Biggie. There he goes. And then there's one called Tiny, who is the smallest. And we're just gonna watch them for a couple of weeks until they start turning into frogs. And when they do, we're going to take them back down to the creek because that's where they should be. They're not going to want to live in my bucket forever. So what did you think of that? Pretty cool, huh? All kinds of fun things out there in nature. I'm going to sing our goodbye song now. Are you ready? Goodbye, so long. Farewell, my friends. Goodbye, so long, farewell. We'll see you soon again, my friends. So goodbye, so long, farewell. Goodbye to Audrey, goodbye to Baird. Goodbye to Hunter and Athena. Goodbye to Asher and Lily and Ava. Goodbye to Roni and Quan. Goodbye to Jacob. Goodbye to Sophie. Goodbye to Charlotte and Scarlett. Goodbye to Lynn. Goodbye to Giuliano. Goodbye, so long, farewell. And how about a hug for your mom or dad or the one who takes care of you? And a hug or a handshake for your friends and then how about one just for yourself too? Goodbye my friends, I miss you so much. Have a wonderful day, I'll talk to you soon.